Okay guys, another hybrid day. This is my wind turbine. That's the solar panels. And that's my new, uh, well it's not my new, it's just a stand. There's a shopping trolley in front of my house. I'm not gonna tell which Superstore left it there or whoever left it there, but basically I uh, borrowed the wheels And this is basically a mitosaur saw stand Mitosaur, saw there's two of them join them together and uh, Now I can basically I'm like a human tracker So it moves quite nicely as you can see you've got three wheels here and one there at the back So that's panels at the moment I'll show a quick view from the back this is my Rockweiler, 7 months old Kiss. Sit. good girl good girl she's a good girl right, this is the back of it She wants to play. As you can see, I got a wheel there. Basically, just makes makes it moving quite quite easy. Moving the whole thing. The wiring is a bit of a mess. But there you go. That's the panels there. That's another little solar panel. That at the moment putting my grid tie making my grid tie work right inside the shed I don't know if you can see this but basically I used to have uh, those two or three sets of batteries here I joined them all together to make a huge bank uh, I've got the inverter that's that inverter there which is that's the pure sine wave inverter that's another inverter there that's just, just a modified one at the moment I'm not really using it uh, now for connectors to the batteries every solar panel has got this which is basically a, a British plug now this at the moment is all connected to this which is a 600 watts grid tie power inverter um, this is just another meter that basically tells me what's going on um, my wind turbine is obviously connected to the battery pack and also connected to the grid tide inverter. I don't know what's it doing at the moment. I don't know if you can see that. The wind sort of comes and goes, but um, then I've got these. So if I want to connect, if I want to charge the batteries, I just disconnect one of these babies, connect it to there, and then the charge controller, which is in there, will just basically do his thing and uh, be able to charge the batteries. At the moment I've got seven batteries hooked together. Gives me about 700 something amps of power. Um, the grid tide inverter works perfectly. I do find that when you've got a lot of juice going through it, it tends the fan tends to kick in a fair bit. Um, so what I've done, I've either just here, basically a, uh, a little fan so that little fan a little computer the little um, solar panel that you saw there is basically for this so it pushes cold air through there and it comes out this end here that's the lights that tell me that it's working and it's connected that's basically connected to this which is a timer um, so in the evening everything shuts down timer I'm using the power from the grid to keep this timer going then at 6 in the morning it's back on again so the power because you need to basically first connect your solar panels then your your electricity then you connect it to the grid so instead of doing it every morning and every night what I basically do there's a timer there so at 6 o'clock in the morning the power's already going into the system uh, the right the, there's a red light there which is fault that will be on and then at 6 o'clock this kicks in and power starts feeding it through and that's pretty much it this is another little meter a energy meter I don't know if you can see that and 
Okay. Usually, uh, usually what happens is I mean, I don't know what's the maximum output today. It's a really crappy day actually. It's 270 watts peak, so it's not a lot. I've seen 400 and something watts. Okay. So that's pretty much that. I sort of sort out the wiring a little bit. It's still a bit messy, but it's um, I'm getting there. And you can buy all this stuff, the meters, the inverters, whatever you need from uh, from my website, which is windchasers.eu. Okay, so that's the solar panels there. You can just go and click on solar panel, and it'll take you to the solar panel pages. They're very, they're going quite cheap at the moment. And then you got on grid and off grid. Um, it depends what you really want. Off grid, obviously, it'll be solar panel. You'll have to get your own uh, self uh, the batteries, but you'll also get an inverter. It will be something like this one here, modified. That's off grid. On grid, you'll get one of these, but you'll actually um, be able to connect it um, to the actual grid. But you'll probably need an electrician. This one here is, is basically plug and play. So you just plug all the solar panels there, connect it to, to the grid, which at the moment I've got an extension cord to the house, and away you go. Now, back home in Portugal, this is what I've just been doing last summer. Well, this summer actually, two days ago. There's my solar tracker. I don't know if you can see that. Now, that doesn't look too big, but next to the house, I'll see if I can show you another picture. Uh, let's see previous. Okay, there we go. It's a dual axle, so basically it follows the sun east and west and north and south. So it basically just tilts either way. Okay. Now that's that doesn't look too big. But trust me, next to the house, it looks quite humongous. Look, there's my wind turbine. I'm just doing 200 something watts. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. That's a what's up meter, by the way. This is the new. Uh, New ones, Turnergy, slightly cheaper, but very good kits. Well worth having. So that's pretty much it. Whatever you want to do, just go into windchasers.eu and uh, it's there. There's also a forum, which you, some of you guys are already using it, which is cool. There you go, that's the forum there. So far it's got 1,500 members, it's really, really cool. That's the sort of wiring I've been using lately, it's quite really thick, it's like welding welding sort of cable. As you can see the, it is a bit of a mess still. That's the ceiling fan thing that I'm going to try and do something. don't know if I'll be able to do anything with it. From what I've heard you can do something but sort of, you know, you get one or two amps out of it nothing amazing and um, and that's pretty, pretty much it so that's basically what I've been doing I don't know if I should really put another another wheel see I've only got one wheel here at the back just put another wheel here so I'll end up it's more a little bit more stable but it works it's easy as well it just moves really really easily as you can see beforehand, as you can see from the decking, um, I should try and scrape the whole thing along the deck where now with the wheel it just glides through it. But I'm running out of space here. And that is a problem that I've, I've got at the moment. Okay guys, see you later. Hello, Bobby. Good kill. There's my